Hi, my name is Andrew Moy. Today we're on the uh, west branch of the Delaware. We just want to talk a little bit about streamer fishing uh, with a spay rod or a switch rod. Uh, this is actually a small spay rod. This is the Beulah Platinum. It's an 11 foot, uh, 7 inch, 5 weight. And uh, we have it with a uh, 024 running line from Rio with a Airflow uh, Rage Head in a 330 grain. Uh, we're just using a little black and olive streamer. And we have a sinking poly leader. Uh, in a five inch per second on the uh, tip of the line here right now. And, and you can change those poly leaders out uh, to vary your depth. Right now the river is at about a thousand CFS and it's dirty. It's fall time. It's typically a good time of year to be up here uh, streamer fishing. So what I want to talk a little bit about is, is some of the casting um, as well as some of the fishing. Um, one of the things I like doing when I'm streamer fishing is really covering a lot of water. And uh, while I'm covering water, what I'm trying to do <clears throat> is take a little bit of the, uh, the, the heavy tension out of the line uh, to slow the fly down a little bit. And then I use, I use the strip um, to actually create action in the fly. So it makes the fly a little bit more, um, look a little bit more wounded. If I stand in one place and just let the line swing and strip at the same time, I end up moving the fly very fast. So sometimes I like to walk with it to take a little pressure off the line as I fish it. So right now I'm using a, uh, a snap tee. And uh, sometimes with a heavy tip it's helpful to roll the line first. So we just bring the rod back, elevate the rod, roll it. Lift, snap underneath, sweep level, cast. And I'm just using, you can see I put a little bit of an upstream belly in that line. And I'm just using about a one foot strip, you know, and you mix it up, six inches, eight, 18 inches, and try and, uh, try and tantalize a fish. <clears throat> and I'm just fishing this inside seam right here right now. There's a little bit of a drop off right here. So a lot of times these fish will sit right on the edge of this drop off and wait, wait for food to come off this heavy riff above here and uh, ambush stuff as it comes down off that riff. Again, I rolled it there, snap it. A little bit of an upstream end. That'll slow that fly down a little bit. That line hangs up too much. I may mend downstream a little bit. You can see here now we've got the, the, the current is circling around to the left here. <clears throat> Here, roll it up. Really nice time of year to be up here with the leaves changing. I want to cover water because what I'm looking for, a very same thing I'll do steelhead fishing is cover a lot of water to find a, uh, a taking fish. There's one right there. And a yeah, decent fish, feels like a decent fish. I'm going to put them on the reel. <clears throat> This time of year what happens is the reservoir flips over and you get a lot of dirty water. Uh, when the and plus the water temperature, typically in the summer on this river, uh, the water is very cold. You know, it's 42, 44 degrees coming out of the dam. So it might be 95 degrees out in July and the river is freezing cold. Well in the fall it's kind of the opposite. The air temperature gets cold, the reservoir flips over, and uh, the water actually gets dirty and warmer. So it really, it brings the, the metabolism of the fish up. and. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, really get some going. 
we go. We've got a nice little brown here. So, nice little brown. We've got them. Keep them in the water. So, a nice fall West Branch brown trout. And uh, we'll try and get another one.